If you are looking for a great gift that you can make with your kids this summer, look no further. Diane Naughty Taylor, Diana Naughty Taylor is the owner of Designs by Dinat, and she's here to show us how to make aprons. We are making aprons for kids, right? Yes. Okay. And this is a little boy's apron, uh, and. This is so cute, and this is like, it doesn't have to just be for cooking, it no. can be for arts and crafts, they can use it whenever they don't want to get messy, which to help is dad hard to do, but. In, in carpentry, <laughs> to, to work in the garden, it's meant to get messy, because little boys like to get messy. Okay, yeah, that's very true. So we're going to have some fun and yeah. make an apron. Okay. So what I like to do is I like to recycle, and this is a pair of my son's jeans that he cast off and he gave them to me. So what I do is I cut the pocket and I cut a wide edge around it. And okay. then I don't throw the jeans away because they're still good and they can still be used. The front part of it right here can still be used for an apron and the legs I can turn into a hat. So you don't want to waste any part of the, the pair of jeans. So you don't want to waste any part. Yep, so this is a hat. And then I have a pattern that I made with my fancy pattern equipment called the paper. Newspaper. <laughs> newspaper, whatever works, as long as you're uh, And I lay it on the fabric reason. on the fold. Is this a specific type of fabric? Is this like a pillowcase uh, or something? It's a, this happened to be an old tablecloth that I found in a yard sale, but I like to work with vintage fabrics. Mm -hmm. And I just cut out two of these. And the shape of it is basically just, it's, it's a rectangle with a little... little curved edge. Okay. And I cut out four straps. Okay, and they're about a foot long? Yeah. Okay. And then what I do is, first of all, I fold under the edges of the pocket and I center it on and all I do is put a fold down the center of the pattern, mm -hmm. or uh, the center of the apron, and I put a fold down the center of the fabric and that tells me where the center is to center the pocket and then I just fold under the edges and pin it on and sew it so on. So no serious serious math necessary, just no serious find the center. Math. Okay. <laughs> this, I go the simplest the better and whatever I can recycle. So it's inexpensive and you were telling me earlier don't get a fancy schmancy sewing machine, just the simpler the better. The easier the better. I, I've been sewing since I was six and I've never had a machine that has much more than a buttonhole stitch and a zigzag stitch. Oh that's a what I like to hear because if I'm going to start sewing it's got to be simple. If you're going <laughs> to start sewing you don't need up. the fancy expensive stitches. Pick up the cheap machine. I've got four of these mm -hmm. that I've cut. Then I just take it over to my machine and I just back stitch a little bit. And then I stitch across. Just to make a seam along the bottom. Yep, and then turn it and it's, and stitch down like that. Okay. And what you get is like a tube like this. Right. Then what I do is. You're gonna turn that inside out? Yeah. All and right. again, here's my fancy turner. It's called a knitting needle. Well, I don't know what you would do without that. I would have a hard time turning that inside out. So then you said you'd have four. So yeah. you, then, once you have four of them, then what I do all done. is I turn them inside out and then I press it. Once this is turned out, I press all four so they're nice and smooth like this. Okay. And then I have four, I have four straps and I pin them to the edges like this. And then you, one with the two patterns, we're going to hold this up, yeah. Diana, so that we can show everyone at home. So you have those straps, but then you have the two pieces that you had cut out. Yep, right here. Oops. Yep. And your pocket's on there. And we've only got about 30 seconds, but if you could just talk us through how you would and finish it I up. And then I just stitch this to this and leave a little opening at the bottom and turn it inside out and then stitch around the outside and you have an apron. That is so adorable and you can obviously make it whatever colors depending on the fabric whatever that you want you to use. Like. And there's a little pocket for all your goodies that you can put and right I in there. And I make them for adults and I make them for kids and I make bags and I make hats. I don't throw anything of the jeans away. And it's away. very, right, exactly, you're recycling. Well, I think that's a really unique idea and people can do this with their kids this summer. Oh, yeah. And you're at the Munson Farmer's Market. Thanks so much, yes. Diana. Thank you. Nice to have you here.